Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton for EMS Now. I'm here at SMT Nuremberg and I'm joined by Felix Frischkorn from Martin. Felix, thanks for Hello. stopping by to chat. Start by telling me a little bit about the products that you're exhibiting here and what you've introduced at SMT this year. So we're exhibiting our expert 10.6 lines rework systems. Martin is a company offering rework and dispense technology. Mm -hmm. uh, we are showing our main models 10.6, 4.6 and the dispense line products. Okay, and the, the rework market seems to be going through quite a strong time at the moment. Are you finding lots going on out there? Uh, rework is looking for new challenges. I think it is more going to process control, more towards um, process stability. This is what the market is looking for. So when you say that, do you mean feeding back into the process when you're doing the rework to see what, what can be done to, to correct the process? Or? Well, I think the, the rework marking is demanding for more process control means um, process support, like flux dipping, like handling of QFN in the rework machines. Right. So this is the demanding um, application in the market at the okay. moment. And term, in terms of driving your technology curve, is it the, the new devices that come out that do that, or, or is it particular end user markets? Um, I think it is, give, it is driven by the control of the big customers towards more independency from operators. Right, okay, so they want something that's more automated? Probably automation is a big, big future topic, yes. Yeah, and how, how do you think that can be met in the rework? Because we think of rework environments as being very manually operated. Yes, but on the other hand, the customers want to have the control, right. the, 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 the quality, security. Yeah. And um, one, big, um, one, one big thing to be done is that the operators must get less involved in the result of the, of the, of the rework process. Itself. Right, so it has to be more, become more consistent. That's, that's yeah. right. Yeah. And that's not just about the equipment you provide, I guess it's also about training, about the kind of operators they use, education. Is that something you get involved in, the training of their staff? Well, yes, of course. We also provide the training. Uh, however, the customers must react on the changing operator stuff, mm. rework. And um, I think that customers are demanding for more independency from the training. Right. Costly, from the experience. Yeah, so it has to be a reliable process that yeah. many different many different skill levels can pick up yeah. and training has to become minimal. And do you find for those rework requirements the, um, the needs are the same here in Germany as elsewhere, for example, in Eastern Europe? That's a very... Very difficult question. I think the, that the German market is a very solid and stable market also for the, in terms of rework. Mm -hmm. um, I think Asia is driving us in the technology demand because they are the big EMS companies. Right. They are giving the pace. And the, 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 the Germans are quite solid and they are demanding for the stability. So it's, okay. a, it's a tension or it's a balance between Asia and German, Europe. Yeah. Okay, and in terms of the skills of the people available to do the rework, is that similar in, in, in all regions? I, I think it depends always on the culture. Mm. Uh, it's a more cultural thing whether you can rely on the quality of an operator or not. Yeah. In, in, in general, in, in particular, it's always, independent, it's always dependent on the individual person. If you ask me so, the Germans are always going for more, more automation yeah. or yeah. control. Yeah. And more automation because higher cost of manufacture and desire yeah. to be leaner as well, I guess. And in terms of what you've seen here at the trade show today, where are the visitors coming from? Are they mainly German or are you seeing lots of other Europeans? Well, I think this year we have a year with the Podotonica at the end mm. of the year. So we see this year many Germans coming to the show and um, the international customers will come on. They'll wait till November. And the November show, yes. Yeah. So this yeah. is by expectation. So a different, a different audience. And you mentioned the, uh, the new products that you've bought out. Are they faster? Or are they for newer devices? What, what's, what, what's the difference between those and the last range of products? So we were concentrating in our recent developments in the, in the 
support of processes like flux dipping, like handling of QFN components with not refloat solder paste, or of small passive component handling, mm -hmm. which itself is tricky to get it to the vacuum nozzle. So that is the process we want to support in our machines. Right. And of course, one big thing is to the customer is the speed of the overall process, meaning handling of component, reflow, and cooling of, cooling down the PCB. Right. And this this is where we're, we're focusing our development yeah, in the oh last month. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, it sounds exciting stuff. Felix, thanks for stopping by. I hope the rest of the uh, SMT show is successful for you, and I hope we can speak again soon. Thank you. Thank you also.